So first thing to do is create yourself a layer with a background on and we want to come over to the little letter around the left hand side so we can put some text onto the background. We've got our color set as red so we'll click on the background and we'll just type in thumbnail. If you press Ctrl and A on the keyboard that will make a selection of all the letters. I want to expand that so we can see what we're doing. We'll pull it across a little bit. Right there we go. From here what we need to do is go up to filters at the top of the screen, come down to light and shadow and go down to drop shadow. We've got this little selection window that's just popped up and what we want to do first is we want to change our colour because our background is black. If we put any effect on there we're not going to be able to see it on the black background. So we'll swap from black and we'll change it to white and press OK. I oh, know that looks shocking, bear with me, we'll sort this out. So what we'll do from there is where you've got X and Y, if we drag those down to zero and underneath there we have the blur radius, if we drop that down to zero as well and underneath there we've got this new feature which is the grow shape. We'll currently leave it on circle, you've got the option of square, circle or diamond. We'll leave it on circle and underneath grow shape we've got the grow radius. This is what's going to put the border around the text. So if we move that up, we've got ourselves a border. Now you'll notice that we've selected white, but it kind of looks like a grey, bluey kind of colour. So to fix that, where we've got opacity, if we knock that up to 1, that gives you the colour that you've selected. So we've selected white, we've got a white border around the text now. You can change your blending options if you want to, we're currently set as replace. You've got all these options, it totally depends on what you want to create for yourself. Under the grow shape, we've got square, circle, diamond. It basically just changes the outline a little bit. So it's all down to you, whatever you feel suits you best. And that is a very simple way in the new version of GIMP on how to put a border around your text.